It's under. It's under. This week for me is the last week of school at FAU for the semester. So I have been studying like crazy. I've had two exams and finals that I've been studying for to in order to complete my grades and complete the semester. So because of all this studying, I've really been dying to get offshore and because of the studying, I haven't been offshore. So it's really disappointing. Today's a gorgeous day to be out there, beautiful weather. So instead, we're gonna do some bass fishing and see what happens so at least I can get on the water for half a day and enjoy outside in the sun. Um, so we'll see what happens out there. We've got some live shiners and some artificials. All right, we're out here on the new sea deck. Take a look, it's awesome. Got some American shad for bait. And basically we just found the pelicans diving and we figured out where the bait was. And when we just look at our depth finder, we look for a big school of bait on the screen and you can't miss it. And um, we just loaded up and I threw off the back of the boat. I think we got like a dozen. More than that. So I just caught the first bass of the day on a crankbait. Nice fish, but I'm gonna beat him. Get a hog. Little baby, largemouth bass. I think it's smaller than Brock. Oh no, it's a striped bass. My first striped bass ever. Sunshine bass. Sunshine bass, my bad. They call them striped bass too, don't they online? No, it's a hybrid between striped bass and something else. So yeah, this is a type of bass it's called a sunshine bass. Whoa. He just spit that right at me. Did you see that? <laughs> Came right out of his mouth into my arm. Holy crap. It's a cute little sunshine bass. Hopefully, I don't know how big they get, but they're pretty cool looking. It's my first one. They usually get bigger than that. Yeah. <sighs> Look at that freaking fish. Holy moly, right at the entrance of that bridge right there. And there was little tiny baits I saw. He was blowing up on the baits. And um, I threw a, a shad out and he grabbed the shad and ran with it and didn't set the hook. And then we put a shiner out and he ate this too. So this thing is a hog. Check him out. Nice fish, super happy. Last trip we were bass fishing, we didn't catch anything. So I'm very happy to catch this fish. And it's probably my biggest my biggest largemouth, I would say, here in uh, South Florida. Pretty cool. All right. And I was fooling around trying to get my bait out, and I missed the action. So uh, she's beating me. I got to get one now. a nice fish he's staying down he hasn't jumped he's not acting like a bass he's taking actual drag and fighting really good he's staying down deep oh here he comes swimming back swimming back get the net he 
take it back. He's just going nuts. Peacock. Oh, peacock. Peacock's like really nice. Nice one, too. He's hooked right in the corner. Here we go. We are killing it today. What, what? Gotta reverse, gotta reverse. Next fish, and he didn't fight like a largemouth. Peacock bass fight way harder. And um, they're just a lot of fun to catch. And as you can see, they're really pretty too. They've got all different colorations. And um, they were introduced to our canal system back in the 90s, I believe. So we catch these, and we catch largemouth bass, and we catch sunshine bass, we catch it all. It's awesome. a three pound peacock bass. It's more like two. Shad and shiners, and we're just on the bridge working it, and we are killing it. I'm so happy right now. Awesome day. This Hold them like, up. This is like the size I caught with Monster Mike. Hold them up. Oh my gosh, yes, it is. Dad, that was really bad. He is really powerful. All right, now I got him. Hold them good. Check them out. Nice. We'll lower. Nice peacock. Releasing this little guy and I'm gonna let him go. Here we go. And there he goes. Catch some more. Where is it? Oh, there it goes. Went under. It's under. I don't feel a fish yet. Because he's running forward. Peacock. Got him. Oh, largemouth. Just went under. Fish on. Nice one. Oh. Nice fish. He is running. See that big boil on the water? Whoa, this is a nice fish. Pull the hook on a bait caster. That's not too tight, right? Dude, that was a monster fish. That's the that fish fought me the hardest out of all the fish today. I gotta go catch him again. Good spot. I'm gonna get hit. Over here? Yeah. It's under. It's under. Nice, nice one too. Wow. All right, oh, there's another one. Two just came up right behind me. 
Wow. Somebody was telling me that they like mahi. Really? Yeah. Right in the corner this time. Nice fish. Killing it. Real fishermen get bass them. That's from catching lots of bass. I gotta go. So I just cast it and my lure went flying off, which happens when you're fishing. We're over here looking for it. Can't seem to find it. It's about a $14 lure. Not the end of the world. Nice crankbait. That crankbait I caught that first uh, little bass on, actually. It's really bad when you lose it and you don't even have a fish on and it's just your own error. That sucks. If it was a fish on, different story, but I'm, I hate losing lures, especially when it's like our fault and there's no fish and the line just breaks. It's hearted. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. So having a good day out here, huh Sizzle? Yeah, so far so good. We've had, we've hit a honey hole it seems like and we have been catching a lot of fish. That's good. We're gonna have to back us up. Can't do anything over there. Catching a lot of fish and uh, it's non-stop action And um, yeah, there's like a little pocket down deep in like 10 feet of water where we've been catching largemouth bass and peacock bass. And it's been pretty cool. A lot of action and fun fish to fight. Got some nice fish today. This is the biggest largemouth bass of the day right here. He put up a really great fight and we had pretty much non-stop action. We had peacock bass, largemouth bass, and it was majority peacock bass that we caught. We ended up having a really great day. Shut that. They had a really great day and uh, these are the biggest fish we caught. They were not small ones today. They were nice sized fish and uh, most of them were caught on live bait, shad, and live shiners, and we also caught a couple on a crankbait, which was a rapala bait. Um, so we've had luck. We're gonna keep trying the artificials and have more fun. So it was a great day, and until next time, follow your dreams and keep on catching. I'm gonna release these fish. There she goes. Turn around. <laughs> turn around and do it. This white girl can't dance. <laughs> That's my dance. <laughs> can't do much else. That's good.